God saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. Hebrews chapter 9, verses 25 through 28 goes on to say, Not that he should offer himself often, as the high priest enters the most holy place every year with blood of another. He then would have had to suffer often since the foundation of the world. But now, once at the end of the ages, he has appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. And as it is appointed for men to die once, but after this, the judgment. So Christ was offered once to bear the sins of many, to those who eagerly wait for him, he will appear a second time apart from sin for salvation. Now, that was the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Now, how is the blood applied in the New Testament or the New Covenant? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, the blood of Christ was innocent. Mm -hmm. the, the blood of Christ was innocent. Now, the word innocent represent the righteousness of Christ. Mm -hmm. His virgin birth established that. Mm -hmm. Now a natural father would have imparted the sin nature of Adam mm -hmm. and Christ's sacrifice on the cross would have been rejected by God. Mm -hmm. Now Christ's virgin birth is absolutely essential to the plan of salvation. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter seven, verse 14, that therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Amen. Romans chapter five, verse 12 says, therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world Amen. and death through sin and thus death spread to all men because all sin. Though he was in all points tempted like as we are, Yet Christ lived without sin, thus fulfilling the requirements of the law. His sacrifice at Calvary was truly without blemish. That's why I cannot understand a lot of uh, uh, the, the Jews, the today's Jews. They're still waiting for a Messiah when Christ fulfilled the requirements of the Bible, of the when the Torah spoke about it in Isaiah, and in Nehemiah, and Jeremiah, mm -hmm. it spoke about Christ coming. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing that I still can't get over, and you know, like I said, until somebody can prove me wrong by the word of God, mm -hmm. I still cannot see how you can be a Messianic Jew. Mm -hmm. I don't see how you could, it's just like I came out of Islam. Now, a Muslim will tell you that Islam is not a religion, but it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. A Jew will tell you the same thing, mm -hmm. that Judaism isn't a religion, it's a way of life. Okay, mm -hmm. so if I came out of Islam, which is, I don't care what you say, it's another religion. Mm -hmm. If I came out of Islam and left and dropped Islam and accepted Christ mm -hmm. and, and renounced Islam, why is it that a Jewish person that's accepting Christ can maintain him being a Jew, yeah. can maintain being a Jew and still be, uh, be you know, do the Jewish things, but accept Christ. I still believe that the Bible is clear. It says all things have become new and you become a new creature in Christ. Yeah. So I just don't believe in being, I don't believe in Messianic Judaism. Yeah. I just don't believe in it. If anybody could show me in the Bible where, where, where that is different, I'm open for anybody to show that to me. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15, For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Now the blood of Christ was shed. That's one of the requirements. It had to be shed because sin was already judged. The Bible says, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter six, verse 23. And the sacrifice was offered. I mean, the sacrifice was offered because the Bible declares in Romans chapter five, verse eight, but God demonstrates his own love toward us in that we, while we were yet still sinners, 
Christ died for us. Mm -hmm. And of course, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 3, mm -hmm. in uh, uh, chapter, excuse me, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, mm -hmm. it says, For Christ also suffered once for sins, mm -hmm. the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that Christ's sacrifice was a substitute. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. So we're not righteous by no means, no way, no how. Only through Christ Jesus are we righteous. There, the, the Bible says there, there is no one that's, that's uh, a good, not one. Mm -hmm. So only through Christ, when we accept Christ, we're only righteous through his righteousness. Mm -hmm. That's it. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, he says, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, mm -hmm. that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Mm -hmm. Now we know that the blood had to be applied. So the, the, the blood affects deliverance from sin. Understand that the Bible says, whom God has set forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith mm -hmm. to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Mm -hmm. And if anybody doesn't know what propitiation means, it means substitute. That means substitute. Now, Christ's blood, once again, is a substitute or a propitiatory, which is uh, the true definition is to satisfy. Propitiate means to satisfy, okay? So God's righteousness demands the death penalty against sin. Mm -hmm. So on the cross, God judged sin. Christ's death satisfied that judgment, okay? Because God judged sin. So something had to die for sin. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, that my little children, these things I write to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself uh, is a, the propitiation of our sins and not for ours only, but also for the whole world. Mm -hmm. So God gives the whole world a chance to be saved. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says that God's greatest mm -hmm. desire mm -hmm. is that no, uh, no one should perish. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So it's open to everybody, Muslim, Jew, Hindu, Buddhist, Mason, whatever, whatever you are outside of Christ, mm -hmm. Jesus is here for you so that you can truly have true salvation mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. God. Praise God. And understand that the blood, Christ's blood affects remission. And remission means to take away mm -hmm. or to be set as liberty from sin. So it's no longer a Passover or, or, or a cover up but it's a take away, Amen. you know, and so Christ's blood cleanses sin and washes away sin. That's why the Bible says if we confess our sins, mm -hmm. he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First John chapter one, verse nine. The Bible goes on to say in Revelation chapter one, verse five, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, mm -hmm. to him who loved us and washed us from our sins mm -hmm. in his own blood. Mm -hmm. So now we know that the blood imparts Christ's righteousness to believers, mm -hmm. not to Christians, to believers. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Romans chapter three, verse 22, even the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all on all on all who what? Not all who are Christians, mm -hmm. but who all who believe. Mm -hmm. There is no difference. Mm -hmm. The Bible goes on to say in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 9, But what things were gained to me? Mm -hmm. These I have counted lost for Christ. 
Yet indeed, I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Not having my own righteousness, which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith. Hallelujah. So now the blood, once it's imparted to uh, 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 the righteous, Christ's righteousness to the believers, the blood is applied to the heart of man by faith. By faith. Whom God set forth as the propitiation by his blood to satisfy it by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Mm -hmm. So whoever, whosoever will are the recipients of salvation. Whosoever will. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 22, verse 17, mm -hmm. and the spirit of the bride say, come, mm -hmm. and let him who hears say, come, mm -hmm. and let him who thirst come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Mm -hmm. The Bible also goes on to say in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 and 14, that enter by the narrow gate. Mm -hmm. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. Mm -hmm. But the narrow but narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. Mm -hmm. And there are few who find it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I get ready, to, as I get ready to take this short break, I'm going to come back and I'm going to finish out uh, the rest of the lesson because I want to go into another uh, another thing. We're going to be really getting deep in this lesson, but I need to take a break. Yeah, cause ain't no one greater than the creator, and ain't no higher like the most high. 